Good morning, guys. I wanted to come on here, and the reason you're not seeing my face is because uh, I've got my hair up in a towel. I just got out of the shower. But I wanted to share with you a few things that I got new for fall that I didn't show you in a fall, in a, in a haul, in a fall haul, y'all. <laughs> that is about as southern as you can get, y'all. But you saw this. This came, you wanted to know what I got at Vintage Picking. And John knew I wanted this so bad that day. And he went back and got that for me. And I gotta make sure and show my sister-in-law because she made the velvet pumpkins for me last year and she could so make these. And another lady at Vintage Pumpkin had an awesome idea. She gets the stalks off of old pumpkins and then she uses them again when she makes her fabric pumpkins. Great idea. The other two things I got, which John laughed at me so hard for getting these, are these two wire baskets, which I bought them with the intentions of going in my pantry, but I may use somewhere else. Number 43, number 41. I bought these from my friends. I drove 80 something miles when they had them here but these actually came from the old school that my church bought and they came out of the locker room and as you can see Tavares wrote his name on his on his locker on his uh, little gym basket and I'm sure I could find out who Tavares is but I thought these were so cute and such a part of history. And this is where our church, this is the school where the City of Lots has started. And um, our pastor actually gave all of these to Artsy Fartsy. And John said he gave them and you bought them. And I said, that's okay. I'm supporting everything that they do. So this is the other two things that I got at Vintage Picking. And then the third item that I got was this tiny little fan. It used to be a real fan. I have this thing about old fans. I love them. And John said, Suzanne, you got so ripped off, it doesn't even have a cord on it. <laughs> and I haven't found the exact spot. When I take all my decorations down, it's probably going to go up in my cabinets uh, here in the living room, but that's the three items I got at Vintage Pickin. Now let's go and look at the rest of the new items that I purchased for fall. The squirrels are new this year. I thought they were adorable, and I bought them at Hobby Lobby as soon as they put out fall decorations. The pumpkin with the little pumpkin linen sign on it is from a dear subscriber that was in one of my hauls. So I love all of that. New this year in my living room cabinet is this beautiful little candelabra. And I know that it came from Home Goods because it still had the sign on uh, I'm sorry, from Big Lots. It still had the sign on it. And it came from Donna, my sweet subscriber. Along with this little pumpkin with the harvest sign came from Donna. Dropping down here. These two items are new. They both came from Donna in my package. I talked to her the other day and she said, Suzanne, I hope you know that I do not send you these things to get recognition. Y'all can hear my um, wash machine in the background, hashtag real life. And I said, I know you don't. You send them to me because you love me. And that makes it even more special. And I love those. This is new. Great. I heard somebody say the other day, they leave their tags on the bottom. It helps them to remember where they got them and how much they paid. Big lots. I thought this was so classy and so beautiful in the gold. And I do think it's one of the prettiest pumpkins. These, which I fully intended to have a picture of each boy already on these, and I don't but grateful, thankful, and blessed. I was going to put a picture of each boy. They came from Big Lots. They were $3 each. And I bought several of those 
and gave them out at Bible study. Because I give out stuff periodically to the girls just to let them know how special they are. The only thing new on the mantle this year is the raffia grass. I had bought the um, garland last year. I've had the metal pumpkins, which are still some of my very favorite. I had them for years and I think they came from Hobby Lobby. And so this year I just went through and added the raffia. I had seen another YouTuber do this and thought it looked great. I love the effect of it hanging down. Uh, so that's all I added new to the mantle this year. This... <laughs> Did we have him on the fall home tour? I can't remember. I've added a few things. Uh, yeah, I think I did. This is a John special. This is one of those things that I would not have picked up, but John fell in love with it, and he is adorable. But he came from Trees and Trends, and he was $19.99, and he is adorable. But it's just one of those things I probably would not have picked up, but John loved it, and I love John's sense of humor. And I know this wasn't on the fall home tour. This is sitting on our couch. Mother and I went to TJ Maxx the other day. I had looked at pillows, most of them, were $25, $30 at some different places I'd been. This was $14.99 at TJ Maxx, and I loved it. It was exactly what I was looking for, so I loved it. I had shown this on the home tour. This is new. It came, I'm wanting to say Kirkland's. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, because I know another YouTuber has it. If you see stuff in the background like John's belt, hanging over the back there again hashtag real life but i love that and this plate is new should have looked pier one on clearance for two dollars and 68 cents do you not love when you find something like that it's such a remarkable price is that not gorgeous i'd love to have a set of fall dishes just like that on the cabinet in the hallway, this thankful sign is new. This we wrote up to uh, Franklin, Tennessee, that area, one Saturday, and uh, we bought this. And also the door wreath. I'll show you that in a minute. The buffet in the um, foyer I looked back to last year's um, home tour and boy, I really added a lot more stuff. There again, I added the raffia grass like the other YouTuber did. Do you not love getting ideas from people? <laughs> and all of the pumpkins I had last year in different places except for this one and it came from Big Lots. You know, Big Lots carry the teal line out this year and I just thought that was gorgeous and even though it's the only teal piece in this arrangement with orange and creams and goals I don't care because the leaves blend in see I'm a very and then you'll notice the very ornate mirror that I have mixed here with the aluminum See guys, I don't go by decorating rules. I don't go by decorating rules at all. If I like it, I do it. I don't care if anybody else likes it. I don't care if anybody loves this buffet or not. I do, and that's the way I decorate. I don't mind mixing this. Nothing else really in my house is ornate except that mirror, but it's very special because John's sister gave it to us. And I have thought about in years to come, I love um, different, I love some of the farmhouse stuff. Probably in the years to come, we will change this foyer and some of you will go, no, 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 don't change it because I love that one. Let me tell you how much we love this wallpaper. We built a house the year we got married and we put this in our foyer. And we only lived there a year and a half because Ashley hate because we had moved her away from home. And so we loved it so much that when we built this house, we put the same wallpaper in the foyer. 
so we this Thanksgiving we will have been in this house 17 years so but let me tell you I do love shiplap and I can so see us covering this foyer with shiplap maybe in a year or so so if that freaks y'all out and but you know on the same hand wallpaper is making a comeback now but I just think, oh, how I could decorate these walls with shiplap. How beautiful it would be. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Because um, wallpaper is making a comeback, guys. It's making a comeback. Not a whole lot new in this room, but I will tell you so many of you say you love this piece right here. And this was a Christmas gift to me from my husband. That old country boy has the best taste in the world. And this piece came from Z Gallery about four Christmases ago. I've used it for teas. I've put cupcakes and cookies and mints. I decorate it for Christmas. I decorate it for fall. We use it for everything. It's very usable. And I will tell you that since the fall home tour, Freddie the Fox has joined us. <laughs> when I went to TJ Maxx the other day, he was sitting there and I was like, Suzanne, you do not need anything else fall. But he was sitting there screaming at me. I don't know how much he was. I'm wanting to say $12.99. Is he adorable or what? So he's been added. Now, this is new since last year. I had some tulips that was in it, and I didn't change it. I bought these 50% off at Hobby Lobby. The colors are drop-dead gorgeous. Not even sure if the colors showed up. And then I had just another stem of stuff with the cattails that I stuck in there with it. OMG, I cannot tell you that uh, vase there came from Pottery Barn. I cannot tell you how much I come by and I look at that flower arrangement, how much I love it. Woo, love it. So that's all that's new in the dining room. And as I'm walking through the house, just thinking, he has joined us. There was another one sitting there during the home tour. He is now outside on the porch. No, yeah, he was on the porch. He also came from TJ Maxx the other day for $12.99. Y'all, he has actual fur on his tail. He was $12.99. Y'all, these, these pieces just will never get old. And I wrap them real good when we store them in the container, so they will last forever. Some people don't like the actual fall stuff, but I do. And y'all, I was telling, some of you had, uh, somebody had written me about these. These came, I'm wanting to say from, you remember, if you've been buying from Walmart for a long time, you remember when Walmart used to have gorgeous pieces. They don't have the same quality they used to. These came from Walmart probably 10 years ago, probably. And let me take you back right here. I had forgotten, but in that till line from Big Lots, I did get this table runner there. I had forgotten about that on that table. And let's not forget this on the living room wall. This came from Kirkland's. This is where I've always had my Amazing Grace song, but we actually bought this for another wall and it was a little bit uh, too wide. I love, love, love that. May leave it up for a while, but that came from Kirkland's. Okay, the bargain of the season. This is sitting on top. We didn't know where we were going to put it, but John, it was actually stacked behind some other things at Pier 1, and John saw it, and he said, Suzanne, I said, oh, kind of looks like a poster. It's a little contemporary looking, but the color and the pumpkins, the orange and the white pumpkins are gorgeous. Let's get, well, how much is it? $11.98, guys. $11.98. So, we tried, we moved this picture that was in the living room. You see where Thankful is down on there? That's where this picture always hangs. So, we swapped that out. That was made by Artsy Fartsy. The ones that we went to see at Vintage Picking, 
and we're probably I'll have a big Santa picture that will replace that for Christmas so then we John we, we started replacing pictures which we don't do a whole lot we leave things pretty much so John just took this and put it up there and y'all look with the contrast against the black is it not gorgeous up there and y'all I have had two subscribers from the Bronx to tell me how neat that I've got a cabinet in the deep south of Alabama with Bronx on it <laughs> and they live there and they've watched my fall home tour and then that beautiful picture sitting on top of it hey guys when I come back to New York can I come visit you in the Bronx I'll have to uh, send you a message I'd love to come see y'all in the Bronx because we'll probably come back in the spring now but is that not gorgeous up there and John that is a John decorating moment right there he did that I love it uh, I gotta get dressed then I'm gonna take you out on the porch and show you the last what you doing washing this truck where are you going might be going on a road trip Woo -woo! hey tell them what does it feel like out here today feels like fall does it feel like fall <laughs> you know what let me tell you something Let's hear it. this is going to be the temperature in heaven oh, yeah. it is absolutely going to be the temperature in heaven well, is that not awesome it's going to be awesome it's going to be awesome no humidity what about those sunbathers what are they going to do well they can go to the other side of heaven Okay. Janice will be on the other side of heaven. Not Hades, but heaven. No, the other side of heaven. Okay. Janice will be on the other side of heaven. Okay. I've been showing you the other side of the house. I'm still not showing you, even though I'm dressed now. The hair is still wet. But I'm so excited because fall is here in Alabama. Garage doors are open. We're doing some work. This is since the fall home tour. Look at the... Um, Moms, how beautiful. We've been having to water them every day because it's been so hot. But look how gorgeous they are. And y'all, right before I did the fall home tour, this is Lantana. And it had billowed way over the sidewalk with yellow blooms. It was absolutely gorgeous. And then all of a sudden, it just stopped. It said, I'm through. I've bloomed. It's fall. But y'all, look at the mums. Oh my gosh. Look at that tiny little lizard on there. Little bitty lizard. You see him? Oh my gosh. Little bitty green lizard. You're a baby lizard. Baby lizard. You stay there and I'll stay here. We have a little, lot of lizards. I'm not really afraid of lizards though because they can't hurt you. So. Yeah, the mums are beautiful. And of course, all the pumpkins are new. All these, everybody was asking me, are these pumpkins real pumpkins? Yes, they are. And, oh, this is new. The, um, do you remember where we got this stand-up pumpkin? We got that pumpkin at home. Look at the color of this, guys. Is that not beautiful out here in the sun? But boy, we've had to water them. This is his like, this is like after the tour tour. Uh, where's the big mom? Uh, John's taking the big yellow mom out because it needed to get some sun. Leanne wanted to know if all of these were real pumpkins and they are. And let me tell you, we got the best prices on the pumpkins this year, or John did, at Walmart. But yeah, none of this is new. All of these are real. Some people may think that's a waste, but um, gosh, how we love it. But we're going to let Rhett carve some of them because he loves them. Oh, the corn stalk is new. That came from at home. That is new. And he was new. I got him at Dollar General. I had him in the house. And those two things of corn right there, Indian corn, yes. came from um, Walmart. They came from Walmart. And y'all, I will put these up. And they will last for years. They're kind of pricey. They're like quite five eighty. Well, well, some of them they're pricey at some places, but Walmart had them like for three dollars. Oh, three dollars. Yeah, two ninety eight. Yeah. But I have seen them like at 
for 10 bucks at some place. Yeah, but they will last. Aren't they gorgeous? They'll last. I'll put them up real good. Oh, you got a rotten little pumpkin right there. Well, let me throw that little rotten. Yeah, that little away. rotten. That little pumpkin's rotten. Well, so. it's kind of deflated a little bit. You know, we could we could probably dry him out and plant some pumpkins <gasps> next year. Oh, we could get the pumpkin seeds out of him. <gasps> Do you think so? Yeah. You know, a lot of people eat pumpkin seeds. I know, they dry them and eat the pumpkin yeah. seeds. Yeah. That? And the last new thing that I have is this beautiful wreath. We got this at Home Goods in Tennessee. Um, I wanted a wreath with white pumpkins. I still like my traditional colors, but I love the white pumpkins too. And it just gave a, I love it next to the white welcome sign and the white column there. That's original old column. But uh, my niece made me the welcome sign. And so I love the white there next to the white in the pumpkins. So, I just thought I would come back and because I told you that you could ask where everything come from and I just thought I'd give you a little tour after the tour and just tell you that we're so happy that it's fall in Alabama. Look at those beautiful skies. Is it not gorgeous? Just remember to thank God for all that you have, to thank him for how good he's been to you, cleaning up the truck, getting ready to go on an adventure. We may be coming near some of y'all. You never can tell. Love you guys. Talk to you later. Bye.